Thank you for joining me. So this is, I think, the fifth video I am doing in the series of this gallery reading that Thomas John did in se late September 2023. And in this gallery reading, he has obviously reading lots of different people. There are about 111 people here at this gallery reading, including myself and several people from my team. He doesn't notice we're there for some odd reason. I don't know why he can't pick up on my energy and those of my team members. And of course, James Randy, the amazing Randy, gave me the money to be able to buy this um, reading. Odd that he can't pick up on that, but I digress. So in this reading, there's four men and there's about a hundred eight women okay so he's going through and he's picking them up one at a time and giving a few of them readings so this is a little bit different now he's starting out in these gallery readings that they are psychic so not in contact with your dead that's what he's supposed to be doing on this day most of them turn into mediumship readings but in this case this one right here we're going to look at is stay straight psychic all of these videos that i do all of this instruction that i'm breaking it down into detail for you is so that i learn you learn we all can get some information and see really look at the detail of this you have to listen you have to really think about what is being said because a lot of it is word tricks it's just manipulation in this particular one what I want you to pay attention to is he's going to call on somebody in the gallery. He's going to look at the chat and he's not going to read the chat. He says he's picking somebody he's drawn to, whatever that means. And I don't know if he's killing time until the next, until the next hot reading, maybe whoever's doing the research for him hasn't come up with a hot read for him yet. So he decided he would do this. I don't know. I can't get into his head. I don't want to be in this guy's head. My point is, is that he's going to throw out a lame statement like, who, who is it? Who is concerned about their daughter or son? And he really emphasizes daughter, I believe. And all these women start coming on screen going, oh, I do. I have a question about my daughter or I'm worried about my daughter. And you'll see a progression of these women that come in until finally Thomas John decides he's going to this he's going to settle on this one woman named Susan and I've blurred their faces their their audio is still clear but I've blurred their names and I've blurred their faces so um I keep thinking very soon somebody is going to say that's me because <laughs> I post these videos on my on my social media feed as well and i post these videos in a one of three groups that are devoted to thomas john and trying to get their money back from him or these are women who've seen that he is hot reading or he just isn't giving them their readings and anyway it's a long story you can look it up on my on my uh, channel because I've done videos on this and you can also look on Facebook and, and just put Thomas John and put the word scam in and you should find at least at least three Facebook groups that are devoted to this. Um, so I so one of those women in those groups is probably going to see one of these videos someday and go, oh, that's me. <laughs> so if if I ever get to you, um, let's do a video. Let's talk about what actually happened, what you thought, how you how you uh, perceived it. I, I I'm really interested in that. And this has happened before, but I didn't release the video for reasons that will happen in the future. Hopefully, I will be able to do that, but not right now. Actually, this has happened more than once, but not with videos. But I have done articles on people who have written to me and said, "Oh my gosh, that was me." small world out there right okay this one's so cringy <laughs> i apologize to the mother who if she ever sees this in the future um because it's so cringy 
And I think anybody out there who's watching this is going to say, oh, that was really awkward because it's not about her, the mother. It is about the love life of her daughter. So apparently, I guess this daughter has been complaining to her mother saying, I'd like to find the love of my life or something. And the mother doesn't know how to advise her daughter, which is really strange. I think a mother should have no problem advising a daughter who wants to hear um, what the answer is. But no daughter wants their mother interfering in their love life, especially if they haven't asked. Okay, so um, there's a lot of assumptions being made in this. The mother tends to think that the daughter is an awesome, wonderful person, but I guess the mother's kind of assuming that the daughter isn't going to be, um, it isn't, she needs to find a man to make her happy, I guess is the thing. So I'm reading between the lines. I don't know for sure. So he's going to call out there that, that he's concerned. Um, somebody has written in chat that they're concerned about their son or daughter, mainly daughter. And then you'll see a progression of people who come up. This reading is four minutes long, I believe four minutes, 49 seconds long. And I don't think I'm going to interrupt it too much. So let's go right over to that video. Um, as I go over there, you know, if you guys find this interesting and you're in and you want to continue watching these videos, make sure that you like and subscribe to this channel. And if you have other readings that you'd like me to go through, when I get through with this gallery, all these readings that I have, oh my gosh, you guys, there's a bunch um, I'll see if I can um, do some more for you that are suggestions that you've made, or if you want to email me your own readings, that would be terrific. I will show you how to upload a large file to me. Um, you can do it at susangerbeck at gmail.com, or you can go through my Facebook page, private message me, and I'll be happy to do that. If you want to remain anonymous in your video, I can do that, or I can even do audio. So if you have something from an old cassette tape or a VHS tape or whatever, I can help you get that um, put into a format so that we can get that onto the internet. As I say, we don't have to reveal who you are unless you want to have your revealed. It doesn't have to be Thomas John. It can be any psychic ever. I'm interested in hearing them all. All right, here we go. You sitting down? I'm sitting down. Let's do this. Because I will be starting with the psychic, even if you do get a mediumship question. I am going to pull a random first name from the chat. I'm, I'm not going to look at the chat. I'm going to pull from the participants. Um, let me see here what I feel. I think somebody is concerned about their daughter or their son. No. I'm worried about my daughter. <laughs> okay, hold on one second. Yeah, I'm worried about mine as well. Me too. This is... Um... I posted in there about my daughter as well. Okay. <laughs> um, I'm not gonna, That's good. I'm not going to look at the chat right now because I don't want to get too overwhelmed. Um, let's go to... Susan, if you want to come off mute. Hi, that's me. Susan, do you have kids? I do. Son and a daughter. A son and a daughter? Okay. Um, okay, what do you what would you like to ask about? So the, my question is really about my daughter. Like, you know, she seems to like, you know, like she's this like badass 26 year old. But like the one thing that's missing is like her finding her person. So okay. I don't know if she's found him and put him aside or if it's yet to come but literally that's all she wants okay so, so like is it like a, like a year away 10 years away <laughs> the question is about your daughter then yes okay <laughs> all right hold on a second here Let's see <laughs> your daughter Pull a few cards on her, but I feel like I've got the answer already. Give me her first name. Amy. Amy. Let's 
Susan, she she's definitely is very independent. Do you feel like that's true? Yes. Okay. Or, or yeah, yes, she is independent. I think, you know, she puts on a front to be more happy with being independent than she actually is. Right. There's actually somebody that she'll be meeting before the end of the year. Okay. She does not know this person yet. So anybody around her now is likely to just be, you know, fun or learning or something. It's not a, a deeper thing than that. And this person uh, doesn't live where she lives. Oh. Where does she live? Um, she commutes into the New York City for work, but she lives in New Jersey. Well, that's kind of confusing because I don't know. Maybe they're trying to say she, he lives in New York. Then. Let me see if he's near or close to her because I think New Jersey and New York, it would come up close. Hold on. If she's, is he, is he within a hundred miles of her? Yes. Okay. So that's what they're trying to say. She, she he's probably more in the city. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. She's going to meet him probably socially. I think with friends and stuff, she's got lots of friends, right? Yes, but you know, like that whole post pandemic crap, you know, nobody goes out, nobody lives in the city anymore, but you know, so it's just, it's hard for, you know, hard for them to meet people. Yeah. And like, she's been hanging on to this love of her life from high school. And like, I keep thinking, is that the person she's ended up with? But maybe not. Now he seems like he's with somebody. Casually. Yeah. Or maybe not so casually. Hmm. So they, they, they've they never had an opportunity to rekindle things? You know, they're like, you know, friends with benefits, let's say, for 10 years. So I keep thinking they're going to find each other, but maybe it's not meant to be. I don't know. Yeah, you'd think so, but it's not really, no, that doesn't look like it's going to happen. Okay. So maybe she needs to let release that a little bit. Oh, without a doubt. <laughs> yeah, because I don't think that's going to happen. Okay, that'll be my advice for her. Yeah, she's got to kind of, because she is holding on to that a little bit. Yes. Fascinating. She just shared her daughter's uh, intimate details there. She was 26 now, and she was 16 then. So she's been with this guy since the age of 16. And <laughs> friends with benefits. Okay. All right. So she's really independent. The mother says it right away. She says, my daughter you know, is very independent. And then he says that she is, um, is she independent? He's just repeating back what she said. I don't think he really heard, but whatever. Okay. So this is one of those questions about love. And we say, to our, we say, what's the harm in this? Because it just seems like something you would learn at a fortune telling Halloween party. And maybe your friends would just give you the same advice. So what's the harm? Well, the harm is, is that this is man has no idea what he's talking about. He doesn't know this Amy person. He doesn't know Susan. He's just making this stuff up. But Susan feels, because Thomas John is a big star, he was on TV and so on. She feels like this is real and that she's going, this is going to um, influence her to tell and tell her daughter. And the assumptions that Thomas John are making are just general assumptions, but they have a real um, power to them. I could see this mother going to her daughter saying, oh, no, I saw a medium, real famous guy, and he told me these things, that you're the boyfriend that you've been holding on to for 10 years, the guy who's the love of your life since high school, he's seeing somebody else. That might be news to her. It might be news to him, too. He may not be seeing somebody else. This is just the mother saying, well, yeah, I think so. I thought it was casual. And Thomas Sean's like, well, so, I mean, that's not okay. Uh, what if the daughter has met somebody? What if the daughter is thinking 
that there's somebody at her workplace or at a place she shops at or in, in her friend group that has interest her and she's known them for a while. Well, if she follows the advice of her mom, that's not the person. So she needs to just all those people who were good potential matches that she thought might be a good match or they're already in her life. Forget it. They're off the table. No, forget it. So it just takes a whole bunch of people out of the mix when Tom Stone's just making stuff up. The other thing is the mother kind of makes it sound like who is the person she's going to end up with. Now, you and I and the cat all know that it is unlikely that you are going to find one person who's going to be with you for the rest of your life. There are multiple people, as we know, we're adults, we know there are multiple people who may be a wonderful fit for us. Some people don't, but most people do have multiple relationships that are long-term, meaningful relationships throughout the course of your life. As you change, as you grow, that's how it works. So to make it sound like this is the one you're going to end up with, as if this is it, you find them, you marry them like it's some kind of Disney movie, is not likely. Even if you do marry the love of your life, one of you is probably going to die before the other. And then are you saying that you will never, ever find another one again? Well, that's pretty depressing. Especially if she has any, uh, she believes that she's actually hearing from from a medium who's really, really uh, famous and really, really accurate. Um, he does not live by her. You saw how vague that was. What does that mean? He does not live by her. Like in the apartment complex where she's at? Well, then that means I guess she can stop looking at the people that might have interested her that are near her. I mean, like in location, they at uh, places she shops, at restaurants she goes to, um, he doesn't live there. So if there is a man, and we we can't, it was funny how we assumed it was a man, but I guess it was because that's what the mother said. Um, hopefully the daughters told her where her interests lie, uh, what she's attracted to. But so if the daughter's interested in somebody nearby, well, forget it. He don't live near you, so forget it. So apparently he lives in New York. We don't know. Again, Thomas John is making this up. I like how he he said, well, let me ask how far away she lives. And he's looking at his, um, I guess, tarot cards or maybe he's rolling a die. I don't know what he's doing, but he looks down and he, and he says to himself, does he live within 100 miles? Yes, he does. It must be New York City. He's making it up, folks, right? Okay, so he doesn't know. But he has this authority, you know, so that it makes it sound like that what he says is what's going to happen. She's going to meet him socially. Well, that's nice. Most people do kind of meet people socially. And that's a really good way of meeting people from what I've been told. But if she limits herself to somebody living in New York City, not near her, that she has not met before, and that she's going to meet him socially with her friends, then... All those other people who might have been really good matches, potentially, forget it. They're not, just just don't even go there. And you need to dump your boyfriend who you've had for 10 years that was a love of your life. Because, you know, he's seeing somebody else, which we don't even know is true. That's that's cruel. Um, I think that's basically what I got. I'm looking to see. Um, I just note that how many people actually hit on this. Oh, I won it. That's mine. I'm also worried about my daughter. I'm also worried about my daughter and I'm worried about my daughter too. So call on me, call on me, you know, that kind of thing. There was a lot. You can see how that goes. And the, the different women say that they're the ones. Um, and I like how he says, what I feel, Thomas John says, I want to go to who I'm attracted to. What do I feel for this? So I, you know, again, what's missing he did, why doesn't he just tell her a name of a man that she's going to is going to be this love of her new love of her life? Why doesn't he say she should be um, she's going to get invited to a party that she probably doesn't want to go to. And it's going to be with some friends that she isn't normally socialized with, but she needs to go to that party. It's going to be on Friday, 
um, November 5th. I mean, he said it's going to be by the end of the year. So this is already late September. So it's only, it better hurry up. What's going to happen if she hasn't met somebody by the end of the year? <laughs> She's going to feel like pretty bad, right? I doubt that they'll make an excuse for Thomas John. He's always right. So, I mean, Thomas could have said, go to this party that's going to happen at Halloween dressed this way and you're going to meet a man there who is dressed like a skeleton and you dress up as some like oh you should dress up as sally from the night before christmas and there's going to be a man there who's dressed as jack skellington and that is going to be your potential match and his name oddly enough is jack so that is him. That is the match for you. So go to that party, even though you didn't want to go and get yourself a Sally costume. Ta-da! Why doesn't he tell her that? Or why doesn't he say, you know, I know that you're really interested in this art museum. You should be going to that art museum often. And one of the people that you're going to meet there, who's one of the, the guard people, is going to be there and you're going to strike up a conversation with him and you're going to find out you have some friends in common and this is going to be the person that's going to be your life match and he's going to be you know that's real help that's real details that's real that's i would think if you're a psychic as this famous psychic like thomas john that would be helpful that would be like real advice and like not vague at all but all we get is this vague stuff so i hope the mother <laughs> i don't know what she's gonna do is this mom gonna go and tell her daughter hey i went and had a reading with the thomas john and he told me that you're gonna meet this guy at the end of the year but you know you got to break up with your the guy that you've been seeing for 10 years because he's seen somebody else and you need to look for somebody in your social group in new york city and you haven't met him yet and that's all i got but it'll be here by the end of the year maybe it'll work i know from just being adult that if you take chances and you venture out and you make get yourself into positions like this where you go to a party you didn't expect to go to or you go out with friends you didn't expect to go out with and you feel like okay i'm gonna meet somebody he's it might be this guy right here that you might be a little more comfortable um you know approaching him and you might be a little more you know you might feel more flirty and and it might make it happen because you're just it's like a placebo right you're 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 putting yourself out there a little bit more, maybe taking more chances. Then again, we have to think about that uh, because of Thomas John's suggestions, she might put herself in a dangerous situation. She may ignore warning signs that her, that she naturally sees that the guy's creepy or he's not quite right, but he fits all the demographics of what Thomas John told her mother. And even though she's not really attracted to him all that much or she doesn't really feel right with him this must be him because we're on you know the end of the year now it's december 30th and if i don't meet him today or tomorrow i'm not going to meet him and this man has presented himself and he looks like the one even though i just don't think he's like he's not really my type or he kind of is a lot of red flags there and i guess i should just ignore the red flags because thomas john told my mom and i'm running out of time so it must be him so let's let's just pursue this this person as the guy and she makes mistakes because she's ignoring her better instincts because the medium told her mom something that needed to be happening so again this is how we're influenced so there's all the harm so if you guys see something different, if you've had experiences like this, your parents mingling in your love life, ooh, ew, creepy, no, not okay. Um, let her live her life. She'll be fine. If she really does want advice, don't get it from a medium. My goodness. Don't you have, like, can't you give her real advice? I just gave her advice and I don't even know Amy. 
leave your comments. I love reading your comments. I don't know how many more of these we're going to do in this gallery uh, from late September 2023, but I plan on just going through them. They're um, interesting and to see the pattern of, of, of um, he, the two hours that he's doing this. Of course, it's going to take me probably 16 hours to get through the two hours he did. That's my what I'm doing. That's what needs to be done. Let's do it. I'm glad you guys are here along with me for this adventure. Subscribe, please share, please like, please comment, and send me all your suggestions. I'd appreciate that. Take care, all.